my website at seedforsecurity.com. Yesterday, I showed you my flower, my vegetable garden. Today, I'm going to show you my flower garden. This is the garden that we have in front of our house. Right in front of me, I have a Turk's lily. These are very pretty lilies. Unfortunately, the lily beetles like them too, so you can see a bit of damage. I check for those every day. They're a bright red beetle and they need to be gotten rid of. But the blossoms are lovely. They're a very pretty yellow with a mahogany throat. Here, I've got some phlox. This is David phlox. It's a very, very pretty white phlox. There, got some tiger lilies. Here, some fox gloves. All kinds of beautiful flowers. In this garden, you've got mostly perennials. And underneath the entire garden, I've got paper uh, fabric, which blocks the weeds and mulch on the top. So when I plant, I need to cut a hole in the paper, dig down, and plant my flowers. In this manner, I really help. It really helps with the weeds. Now behind me, I have got some more phlox, and this has come up with some daffodils. I kind of let them go if they want to grow together and figure why not. Here, this is baby's breath. And this year we have beautiful iris. Lots of lovely iris. This is a peony. It's a single dark red peony with a yellow throat. So pretty. Very fragrant too. This is echinacea or purple cone flower. It's medicinal, and it's very pretty. The bees love it. Over here, I did something interesting. I like heavenly blue morning blue. They're very pretty, lovely blue. But I needed a trellis. They have to climb. So I utilized our bird feeder post and put some brush around, and I tied it together with some of the uh, string from the um, from the ba that's this bailing twine string, some of the string from the straw that we have in the back garden. And as you can see, the morning glories are starting to climb up. They will blossom hmm, about September. So we'll ha keep having color in the garden. That's what I try to do, to keep enjoying the different kinds of flowers. This is a ground cover called Lamium. It's a very nice, different. Over here, this is Lady's Mantle. It's an heirloom plant. It is also medicinal. This is a lovely yellow lily. I had given this lily to my mom as a gift, and she said, take it, Nan, and plant it. So I did. All in blue. Very, very nice. This is also a phlox. This is pink. It's the Eva Cullen phlox. This is a delphinium lovely true blue. This is a type of bachelor button and it likes to multiply because as you can see it's uh, kind of gone over here too. I call them hitchhikers. This is a, an iris. It's a Japanese iris. A bleeding heart. Another foxglove here. These are coral bells. My dear friend Betty gave those to me. And they multiply, as you can see. Hummingbirds love them. And in this section is mostly herbs. We've got culinary herbs and medicinal herbs. This is a type of salvia. This, these are um, sunflowers I planted just for fun. Some chives, rosemary. This is valerian. It is medicinal. This is very nice. This is a sweet, sweet smelling herb, oregano. Here I've got some more, um, some more herbs over here. This I have some in the back garden too. And here I've got some really nice parsley growing. Over here. I've got some thyme, some sage, more thyme there. This is hyssop, 
So that's my herb garden, my flower garden. Just thought I would share it with you folks. It's such a lovely morning. You have a good day. Have a sunshiny day.